just finished having a big quarantine cry. If you haven't done that yet, I very, um, very strongly suggest it and recommend it. Um, with everything that's going on, the uncertainty on every level, the just soup of information that we are all in where it's hard to know what's up and what's down and what's true and what's not. And I've been so caught up in that, the acquisition of information, of knowledge, of trying to understand from the headspace what's going on. Um, that I'd missed just checking in with my body and acknowledging something that's really important and what I want to make this video about today, which is uh, allowing yourself, wherever you are, the space to mourn death. Because no matter what it is that you believe is going on right now um, the reality is that the life that we lived before this has died in greater or lesser extents for different people but all of us have gone through a major loss and as anyone who's lost a loved one knows the ability to come to a place of peace and understanding around that and clarity around that loss requires a grieving process and a mourning. And so if you haven't given yourself the space to, uh, to mourn that loss, I just want to give you permission to do that. Do it for yourself, whatever that looks like. I've Mine was actually initiated by, I got a massage from uh, this, this guy, Itong, who's a uh, myofascial release worker. And it was like a KGB interrogation, the whole thing. It was 90 minutes of absolute torture. <laughs> um, that brought me literally just to a, 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 a very humble place and, uh, and all of my emotions to the surface that I finally could acknowledge um, this state of fear that I've been existing in and, um, and recognize that in other people and, and to come to more of a place of compassion of no matter what where people sit in all of this, the, the governing force at the moment is fear. And uh, as we all know, retrospectively from our own lives, making decisions that affect large aspects of our lives and the world when we're in a state of fear is, is very ill-advised. Um, and so that's my message for today is, is to, if you haven't already, um, give yourself the permission to mourn and have the emotional release around the loss of the life that existed before this, the massive tumultuous changes that have swept globally um, and altered every facet of the way that we do life and the way that we engage with each other. and, and um, and for me, where I am in the world, um, it's big and big change is really challenging for, for humans in general. And yeah, I, a lot more clarity exists on the other side of, of the emotional release if you're willing to give yourself that. Um, it also brings through that process a lot more compassion for other people who are in a state of fear and uh, who have pent up uh, emotions that they haven't, that haven't been given the space to exist. Um, yeah, it's, 
a lot easier to understand them and find a, a place of commonality uh, when you're out the other side of that experience. So um, I encourage each of you to give yourself the space. For me, the best way to get into a place where I can even access my emotions, because I'm not somebody who's overly emotional in general, um, is, is movement. For me, all the information, and well, not information, all the wisdom, um, is in my body. And so whether that's dance, today it was facilitated by this massage, but um, yeah, um, dancing, um, yeah, raging, running, whatever it is that you can tap into your body awareness, your body wisdom in order to um, have the greater clarity that body wisdom has over cognitive wisdom. Um, so that's it for today. And, uh, well, actually, no. Here's another really important piece that I almost breezed right over. Um, directly in the middle of this big emotional release for me, I... I called my son, Mana, into my room. He's six and a half. In order to just allow him to witness me, his father, who's often the keeper of rules um, and the hard s surface that he pushes against in order to determine his boundaries in the world. Um, but just to see me in my softness, to see me in a place of raw vulnerability um, so that he knows that for men, it's okay and that he will forever have the love, care and permission to, to access that as a man.